everybody. This is Mike here from Trailer Depot. Today we're doing an, a video on the inside of a 28-foot ATC uh, toy hauler that we have in stock. Uh, this is uh, ATC makes these toy haulers out of all aluminum construction, so it's a very high-quality, lightweight toy hauler, uh, aluminum floor, aluminum structure. Um, so I want to go over the options. We go out, option this in, trailer in with a lot of options in it, so I wanted to uh, go through those with you. Uh, we've got the uh, patio option on the back where we have the uh, cables that allow you to give gives you a patio out back or you can set up chairs or whatever hang out in the back uh, this is a screen uh, screened in rear end of the trailer which gives you a clear to be able to see through and then you can also unzip the clear and gives you a screen so that's nice keep bugs out and keep the uh, it makes the trailer feel a lot bigger because you've got the you can leave the ramp door down or in the the uh, patio position the whole time we have another option also that is a full screen room for the patio um, that's just there's two different ways that we can do it this is the one we optioned in on this one uh, so we've got a happy jack bed in here which is a queen size bed that will lower down electrically i'll show you that once we move forward uh, we've got sofas here that fold down into beds and we've got a dinette that folds down into a bed and we've got a queen size bed up in front so you know, easily uh, anywhere from seven to eight to, if you've got kids, maybe up to 10 people if you want to put two on these these smaller beds. I'll just show you how these work real quick. They're a, uh, a flip over sofa. So that's your bed position. You have the legs down and then for storage or transport, when you want to transport your toys, these just flip up here. Uh, you've got a strap that holds them in the upright position and they don't stick out any more than what the fender would in the trailer anyway, so it doesn't take up any room. Uh, this trailer we optioned in with a full carpet package, so you got carpet in the garage area, carpet in the bathroom, carpet in the front bedroom. Uh, it also has an uh, airline track underneath it, which you've got your aluminum floor with uh, three rows of airline track for tie-down purposes. And those run all the way up to the, uh, the bathroom wall. Uh, convection microwave, two burner cooktop. It's a big farm sink with a uh, cover on the farm sink to give you more counter space. Uh, nice household faucets in these trailers. Uh, there's no skimping. The, the cabinets are all aluminum framed and made in house. And I mean, they are rugged. They're built, you know, they're built like a tank. You, could, you know, there's no way that's going to fall apart on you compared to some of these RVs uh, that make toy haulers. They're just well, wood frame cabinets that just don't hold up very well, in my opinion. Uh, and also, the other thing that I really like about it is everything is top hinged with a gas prop, so it flips up out of your way, so you can really leave the cabinets open all the time and not have any problems with your doors being in your way. Or, you know, sometimes when the doors flip like this, they, if you try to get into one cabinet, then the door from the other one's in your way. We don't have that with these because everything flips up. So then the dinette table flips up here. That's why you see there's a gap in between these two cabinets there. The dinette flips here, and then these two sofas flip up right in underneath the cabinets here. Uh, nice thing about this dinette also is easily four people could sit in it. I mean, plenty of room. You know, a lot of so many of the RV dinettes, there's just not enough room, very cramped, hard to get in and out of. Um, so this is a really nice setup as far as the amount of room that's in that RV. I mean, in that um, dinette. Uh, two burner cooktop, uh, convection microwave, big farm sink. Um, the tons of storage. You've got uh, four drawers down here with storage underneath the drawers. But then you've also got another cabinet there underneath the refrigerator. This is an eight cubic foot refrigerator, new for this year. Um, what, very large refrigerator. Uh, this one we optioned in again with the two TVs. So we've got one TV here in the garage, one TV up in the front. Uh, we've got our big command center here that's got it controls for almost everything in the coach. Um, this also has a three season plumbing package. So we've got um, you've got your water lines and your tank line heaters right here. And then here's all your monitors for your battery and your fresh water and gray water tanks and all that kind of stuff, black water. Um, and your water heater switch, your water pump switch, everything's right here in this area. Um, everything on the uh, ATCs are their max air, uh, max air uh, vents, and they've got their power lift. They were remotely controlled. Their power lift, their 10-speed fans on them. You can reverse the fans on them. Rain sense, everything, and those are standard. That's not an option. That's what comes standard with the coach. But we've got three of them in this trailer. You've got uh, garage, bathroom, and then up in the front bedroom. Uh, this is also your remote start for your uh, generator right here. Um, your thermostat for your air conditioning and furnace. We've got two air conditioners in this trailer. So it's ducted air conditioning front to back. So you've got a, one up in the front bedroom and then one back here, two 15,000 BTU air conditioners. Um, 
let's see. Oh, and then you're also your um, deadlift right here is for your uh, happy jack bed. So we'll show you how that works coming down. So I'm not going to lower it down much lower than, you know, we've got that sofa folded up against the wall. Normally when you're deploying the bed, you put that sofa down. I just want to show you how it works. You got a switch right here. It lowers down automatically, not automatically, electrically, I should say. So that'll come right down. You'll be able to, it doesn't come down too far. You can still sleep two people underneath as well as there on that bed. Uh, okay, we'll walk up in, into the front bedroom and then um, I'll show you the bathroom on the way out. So again, the front bedroom, tons of storage. You got huge cabinets. These are wardrobe closets here that um, you've got plenty of room to hang stuff inside of these cabinets as well as over here, another big wardrobe closet right there. Um, this is all your uh, plumbing uh, service area right here where you can service the plumbing. Big overhead cabinets there. Reading lights are individually controlled there. Um, the one thing I didn't fail to mention in front is all solid surface countertops. So uh, everywhere in the coach, you're going to have solid surface countertops. A draw on each side. You've got USB jacks on each side. You've got an outlet on each side. Plenty of places to, to charge stuff. Uh, look at the storage under here. Huge. Just tons of stuff. Your camping chairs, anything you want to put in there. You've got all sorts of storage, grill, everything you want. You've got plenty of room. Um, as I mentioned, the air conditioner is ducted both front and rear, and then your furnace is ducted all the way through the, the coach as well. Uh, large windows. That's the other thing new for this year. The huge windows on both sides. It's like uh, you just tons of light, tons of ventilation in this, in this trailer with the way that they're set up. Okay, the last thing I'm going to show you is the bathroom. Big bathroom, as we mentioned. You've got a uh, nice size area to be able to get in there. So you got a big, big shower, handheld faucet, a yeah, handheld uh, shower head. Um, as I mentioned, these are all household faucets. You look at the faucet in the bathroom. I mean, that's a beautiful faucet for, a, for an RV. Um, and then this has also got an extendable shower curtain rod, which is a cool option. So, you know, you can get it in plenty of room in there. You're not going to feel cramped when you're in the shower, as so many of these things are. They're just, uh, there's just no room for, for people to get in there. Uh, porcelain toilet, more storage underneath here, and up here you've got tons of storage in this thing. Uh, each one of these uh, vents in each department, each uh, location has got its own remote. Towel bar, all the, all the, the modern features you would have and expect to see in a, a nice high-end coach like this. Um, this is Mike from the Trailer Depot doing a video on an ATC toy hauler. This is an all-aluminum toy hauler. It's a 28-foot front bedroom, a lightweight, high-quality toy hauler. Uh, you can find us on the web at thetrailerdepot.com. Like us on Facebook. Check us out on YouTube and Instagram. We're all over the place. You can come find us, and we'll be happy to help you. Thanks, and we'll see you next time.